Greg and I were talking about people we hadn't heard from for ages and you were saying, oh, I wonder what happened to David Snedden and you came up with this wee idea of doing something called What you been up to? What you up to? What you up to? And you've managed to track down David Snedden. I sure have and we've got David Snedden on the line right now. On the Zoom. Morning, there we David. Go. David Snedden, what you up Morning, to? Morning, <laughs> What you up to? <laughs> I mean, right now, uh, I'm about to take my kid to school. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that, aye. David, it was 2002 you won Fame Academy, is that right? Uh, I believe so. I believe yeah. so. Well, that's good. You can't even remember either. We're, 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 we're about the same. You're a while, to be uh, fair. Aye, it has. Right, listen, we, we've both got a David Snedden story, right? Can I tell you mine first? Hey, yeah, Right, yeah. right, because it takes you back to before Fame Academy, right? I remember you and I were hosting a gig at the Caird Hall in Dundee, right? Atomic Kitten were on the bill. I think Adam Rickett. There was a whole load of like boy bands we were doing the gig right you were on a TV show on STV late at night at the time oh, I remember that remember that do you know what I remember about it I had no idea who you were or anything about your music stuff you were just a host you were a presenter right and you were saying to me oh by the way um, I'm really into music you know I really want to you know, write music and you know, and you have a pop career and all that. And I'm like, all right, God, listen to this guy, eh? Just present, right? And so it turns out I went and holiday and I came back and I had Fame Academy on. And then this guy came in as a replacement. And I'm like, I recognise him. And it was you. That's funny. Aye. I, I mean, to be fair, I, again, you're like, you're talking about a time where I feel like a different person. Uh, uh, that was like... Wait, I nice. why they asked me to do it. That gig? <laughs> Aye, it was, it was, sorry, Atomic Kitten and all. I, I, to be honest, it was one of those things. There's certain points in my life where I find myself standing in a situation and I'm like, how did I get here? Like, <laughs> how have I managed to Forrest Gump my way into this? <laughs> uh, and I would say that was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know who else is on the bill? I've just remembered Scooch. They were on the bill oh, as well. Right. Aye, That's the right. guy from Scooch was doing a bit of presenting as well. Time, what a time for music listen, that was, eh? Listen, mate, I think it was early 2000s or the end of the 90s. Anyway, that was my story, Gredo. Let's get your story and then we'll find story, out what Davey's been up to. My story was, this was post-Fame Academy. This was in 2003. And I, I bumped into you outside uh, Ibrox. I bumped into you outside Ibrox and you were signing autographs and you were taking pictures with folk. And I phoned my mum and I phoned my mum and I says, Davy Snedden's here, Davy Snedden's here. <laughs> and I put the mobile phone to your um, ear and I says, can you say hello to my mum? And you said hello to my mum, all right? And see when I, see when I went home, my mum said to me, oh, that was good. You got me to speak to the guy for Take the High Road. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was Davy Snedden uh, Derek Fingway if you take the high road yeah I'll tell you something Derek else Lord. about that I mean to be honest this is one for your for your younger listeners um, when I was when I was uh, I don't know must have been about 18 um, and I was doing back then I used to do like because uh, I was in a youth theatre so I used to do like a wee bit of acting and stuff like that in Paisley and we, I was in a panto and obviously I was playing a character but they had my name as David Stead oh, and, and, <laughs> and, uh, and this old couple <laughs> came up to me after the show and I swear to you on my life they went oh we're a, we're a big fan of your old man and I was like oh I was like my, dad, I, my dad's a, uh, was a social worker I was like, that's a bit odd <laughs> yeah, and, I, and they genuinely thought that my dad was David Snedden from Take the High Road <laughs> so, so funny, I've, man. I've dealt with that my whole life brilliant right uh, enough, so enough of our nonsense right uh. David that's brilliant great story tell us what have you been up to well uh, in the last 20 years I suppose <laughs> um a lot. I've, I've, um, I suppose the, the big thing is I'm a, I'm a songwriter. I, I sort of managed to somehow uh, keep my, keep my toe in for long enough uh, after Fame Academy that um, that side of what I'm, I suppose what I'm good at, that side picked mm-hmm. up a wee bit. Um, and then in 2010, really, uh, everything sort of kicked off because I, I met Lana Del Rey. So sort of before, I suppose before anybody knew who Lana Del Rey is mm-hmm. um, and wrote sort of one of our biggest songs and then at that point everything just kind of my whole life sort of changed um, and since then I've been fortunate enough to write way I, I mean pretty much everybody <laughs> if Aye, I really? to that's you. amazing man I so it's uh, I'm still in London although coming back to Glasgow is definitely on the cards I think in the next year I just I fancy I fancy coming up the road I've been down here long enough Aye. Um 
So, uh, and my kids have started to sound a wee bit cockney for my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, uh, can't even have that. That's, that's great. You, what you can do is you can give them elocution, Scottish lessons from Grado. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very, very interesting. That, so you're a songwriter. Do you miss performing live or do you, are you in the studio every day just writing songs? Is that the thing that you prefer? Uh, no, I, I, pref- I definitely prefer writing. I always, I think I always have. Like I did, I, The big thing for me was I didn't have any idea. Obviously, I, I had no idea what fame was going to be like. And, you know, 10 weeks before I won Fame Academy, I was signing on in Kilmarnock Road. Oh, and then you fast forward 10 weeks and I'm kind of one of the most like recognisable people in the whole country. And it, it definitely took me a wee bit sort of by surprise, I think. Because, um, no, like you said, uh, Crofty, I was, a, <laughs> I was a replacement. So absolutely no way did I think I was going to win that show. Like, no way. So then to sort of prepare yourself for winning it uh, was almost impossible. Wow. And, um and I didn't, yeah, as much as the perks, for example, like getting invited to Ibrox was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but apart from that, like I didn't, I didn't, it, it really didn't suit well, me. To well, the thing is, David, you've, you've been there, you've wore the t-shirt, you've done it. <laughs> You've done all that side of it, and now you can concentrate on writing your songs. And he's made a living out of it as well. So, and now you can shop in. You can shop in Asda now, and nobody knows who you are. You're, 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 (laughs) it's a bit like myself. I know that life. Listen, (laughs) mate. Some of them I'm not allowed (laughs) in. Listen, just uh, finally, what are you doing for Christmas this year, mate? I'm coming up the road. I'll be back in Paisley next Monday. Coming up with my family. Um, I, I will probably be seen about the streets of Glasgow at some point, uh, half cut, and very Good much looking forward to it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Drinkaware.co.uk, by the way. Uh, <laughs> David Snedden, what have you been up to? Thanks for being on the Brilliant, show this morning. Man. Brilliant. Yes, boys. Good Brilliant. to see you. All the best, pal. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.